Hi and welcome to Yolanda's Cakes. The first step to make this cream is to dissolve the gelatin in the 50 grams of water. Refrigerate for no less than 30 minutes. Meanwhile, combine condensed milk, sour cream, milk, and confessional sugar. Set aside. Combine cornstarch with 250 grams of water. Mix thoroughly until there are no lumps. If you see that there are still lumps, mix again. Next, combine both mixtures together. Make sure that all the ingredients are well combined and there are no lumps. Take gelatin out of the fridge and bring to the microwave oven and melt on the defrost setting for 5 to 10 seconds. Do not boil the gelatin. Now add melted gelatin to the mixture and stir well. Turn on your stove to medium heat and using a non-stick skillet, pour mixture into the skillet. Stir constantly with a rubber spatula so that mixture don't stick. Continue to stir until the mixture becomes a homogeneous mixture.
as the mixture cooks it'll start to get lumpy but do not worry about it that is the way it is supposed to be by the time we are finished cooking it'll turn into one complete and whole homogeneous mass so continue to stir even though you are encountering lumps Notice how the lumps are getting even bigger. That means that the cream is cooking properly and we will soon be finished. Notice how thick the cream is turning out to be. That's the way it's supposed to be. Continue to stir and don't let it burn. Continue to stir and scrape the sides and the bottom of the skillet. Do not be discouraged by the time you are spending making the cream. When you use this cream, you will be so happy you spent those 10 to 15 minutes making it because your rose is going to look great. And not only that, but it will also last for a long time, especially in hot and humid climates. We are almost done. Um, you will see that the reward is going to be worth it. So we are almost done. Remove from stove. Pour mixture into a large bowl. Now, using a mixer, add heavy cream little by little and mix completely until milk and mixture are well combined. Now you are ready to color your cream. I 
am using yellow, green, and purple neon colors. To the purple color, I'll be adding different amounts of the gel to each bowl to give it a different tone. To the green, I'll add some black to make it look like green leaf. Continue to play around with the colors that you are using. Make your own palette and just play around with the colors and add or if you have added too much, add from the reserve cream that you have left over. Like I had a little bit reserved just in case something happened that I put too much color. So do play around with the colors. I'll start by piping tulips using our Russian tips. I'll use two different tips. If you see that your tulips don't come out as they should, that's probably because the cream is too warm. I had just finished warming up my cream and I am encountering this problem. I let the cream chill for a few minutes and it should be ready. If this ever happened to you, just pick up the icing or the cream and let it chill until it gets a little bit cold and it'll be fine. And also if you notice that the cream is getting hard in your bag, just warm it up again and it'll be fine. While the cream chills, I'll pipe several roses. I'll try piping the tulips now. And yes, the cream is ready. It's piping really good, I'm happy. Now I will continue piping um, a couple of more roses. I'm piping now two ranunculus. One is going to be large and the other one is going to be small.
So here are the yellow and green colors which I just warmed up in the microwave as they've been out for a while and they became a little stiff. We will use them in a few minutes, but first I'd like to show you a tray of all the roses that I've made using the same cream. They look kind of dull since I use very light colors. I did not use neon colors for these. For me, I think that using neon colors is better for this cream because I personally find it unlike the buttercream to fade out a little after it's been out for a while. This is just me. Take a look at the texture of the, of the roses. They feel kind of flexible and rubbery. And I do have to say that they are very strong. When you break them apart, they don't crumble like a buttercream. Uh, that they crumble up when you pull them apart. These stay um, kind of together. So um, this is how these cream works. Yeah, I think especially for a very hot weather, it'll work just fine. We will put them outside for now. I'm going to place the flowers on a cardboard and I will use the yellow and green now. This is just so you can visualize the roses. You may place these roses on a cake any which way you like. There is no right or wrong way on placing your flowers onto your own cake to your liking. When arranging your flowers, roses, or leaves on your cake, be creative. Uh, sometimes we like to copy what we see in other decorations, but uh, really we should be creative and uh, do our own thing. Do something new. And uh, like I said, that is no right or wrong way uh, when you place your decorations on your cake. Also, when you place a decoration on your cake and you do not like it, don't leave it there. Remove it and do it again. Because if you leave it there, you are not going to be happy. So it's better that you are happy with your own decoration. And trust me, it has happened to me a lot of times that I've done something and I do not like it and I remove it and I make it better make it to my liking so that's just a suggestion They look beautiful. You see, I told you, uh, it was worth it spending 10 or 15 minutes in front of a stove 
stirring a pot for a cream for roses. Um, it, it, it is um, something that if you have a passion and you really like to make decorations, cake decorations, you will uh, invest the time because in the end, the reward is excellent. So um, I'm very happy the way they came out. I am so sure that yours are going to come out just the same or if not better. Well, we've come to the end of our tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you for staying with me. Please don't forget to share and subscribe. And um, if you like to make this and you do make it, let me know how you made out. Let me know what do you do. And in my Facebook page, you can post a, um, a photo of your work. Thank you again for watching Yolanda's Cake. Be at peace with everyone as much as it is possible for you. Thank you so much and God bless.